hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a print on demand Wix website with Printify. The first thing you'll need to do is go onto Wix.com. From there, you can create an account for completely free using your email address. So you're going to create an account on Wix. And once on this page, you're going to tap on create on Wix editor. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page right here, and we're going to tap on Set Up Without AI. After selecting Set Up Without AI, from here, you can select Online Store, and you are going to tap on Continue. After tapping on Continue, you will be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your Wix dashboard, I'm going to be showing you what to do next. So you can see at the moment we are on our Wix dashboard. All, all you'll need to do is enter your store name. So you can type in your store name right here. So for example, I'm going to be calling it Simple Answers or Simple Streetwear. So let's do that real quick. Then I'm going to tap on Continue. After tapping on Continue, you can choose whether you are just starting out or you have already been selling. So I'm going to tap on no, I'm just starting out, then tap on continue. Then from here, you can select print on demand products and you're going to tap on continue once more. After doing that, you can select online store. And if you also plan on selling your products on social media, for example, Google, eBay, Amazon, you could select this option also. Then you are going to tap on continue, then tap on continue to dashboard. Once you have tapped on continue to dashboard, you'll be redirected to the Wix dashboard as you can see right here. Now all I want you to do is simply go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select apps. After selecting apps, from here you're going to tap on app market. So let's do that real quick. After tapping on App Market, what I want you to do next is you are going to simply tap on the search bar in the top left hand corner. And from here, I want you to type in Printify. So let's do that real quick. So you are going to type in Printify real quick. Then you can see it right here. You are going to select Printify. After selecting Printify, all you need to do now the first thing we'll need to do is go back to Wix store. So we're going to do that real quick by simply going over to the top left hand corner. You're going to tap on a drop down menu option right here and you're going to select your store. Once you have selected the store, which is simple streetwear, what I want you to do next is you're going to tap on design in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you can select whether you would like Wix to create your store for you. So the site builder to give you a quick live update. Once on this page, I want you to tap on pick a template. After selecting pick a template, you can scroll down and you can see numerous templates that you can choose from for completely free. And this is one of the standout free features when it comes onto Wix. So let's say, for example, I want to use this one. All I'll need to do is simply tap on edit. After you have tapped on edit, you're going to give it a few seconds while our website is being composed in the background. Once the website has been finished set up, I'll be showing you what to do next. You can see it right there. So you can see an example of how it looks. All you'll need to do is simply close this pop-up. After you have closed the pop-up, you're going to go over to the left-hand menu option. And from here, I want you to tap on Add Apps. After you have tapped on Add Apps, you'll see this pop-up window up here. And from here, all you'll need to do now, you can simply type in Printify once more. So let's do that real quick. So we'll type in Printify. Then we're going to select Printify. After selecting Printify, you're going to tap on Add to Site. Once you have tapped on Add to Site, it is going to open up a new window. Then from there, you can see Connect to Printify and you can give your store a name. And again, I'm going to simply call it Simple 
store then I'll tap on connect after you have tapped on connect you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to tap on agree and add then you can see right here we have now been redirected to printify now we'll be able to create our first product all you'll need to do is tap on browse products then from there you can select the type of product that you would like to add your design to so i'm going to be creating a cap website so i'm going to tap on the search bar right here and we're going to type in caps so let's do that real quick after typing in caps you can see the different options so i'm going to select this one right here then from here i'm going to tap on start designing in the bottom right hand corner after you have done that you can add your design right here and you have quite a few options you could go over to the left hand menu option tap on upload and you could upload your design from your device you could tap on ai image and you could type in a prompt and use the printify ai platform to create a design or you could tap on graphics and you can use one of their preloaded graphics as you can see right here there are numerous graphics that you can choose from so let's say for example i want to use this one so i'll simply tap on it after you have done that all you'll need to do now you'll tap on save product in the bottom right hand corner then from here you can choose the mock-up image that you would like to use after doing that you can scroll down you could edit the title if you want you can also edit the description you could add a size table if you want and when it comes on to setting your price you can tap on the product or you could tap on select all then tap on edit price and you could type in the price that you would like to sell it for right there or you can edit the profit margin so normally the profit margin would be set at 40 percent but let's say you don't want a 50 percent profit margin you could type in 50 percent then tap on apply then you'll tap on publish in the bottom right hand corner after tapping on publish you're going to give it a few seconds while the product is being listed once the product has been listed you will be able to see it on your wix website the product has been listed as you can see right here all you'll need to do now you are going to go back into wix so once in wix once more all you'll need to do is simply go over to the left hand menu option and from here we are going to tap right where you see home after tapping on home we want to go onto our product page so we are going to tap on product page right there once on the product page you can see that our product has been added as you can see right here if you would like to preview it you could tap on preview in the top right hand corner to see how the product page looks so you can see that it looks very professional as you can see right there and you can see that we have different mock-up images you can see that right there now all you will need to do you'll tap on back to editor then after doing that what i want you to do next is you're going to go over to the top left hand corner and from here you're going to hover over site then after hovering over site i want you to tap on my dashboard so we're going to select my dashboard right here after selecting my dashboard what you'll need to do next is you're going to be setting up the different payment options so for example you can go over to the left hand menu option and you could tap on settings after tapping on settings from here you can simply scroll down until you see payment method so let me do that real quick so you can see accept payments right here we're going to tap on that then from there you will be able to connect your paypal as you can see right here you could tap on connect paypal you can also connect different payment options depending on the country you are located in so for example if i were to change my business location from jamaica and simply type in let's say for example united states you will see that i am provided with a new set of payment options as you can see right here so you can connect numerous payment options by simply tapping on connect hope you found this video helpful and informative once you have set that up all you'll need to do is tap on home 
then from there you can tap on design site in the top right hand corner after tapping on design site once you're back on the editor page from here all you'll need to do is tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live you can continue editing your website so for example you can make changes right here by simply tapping on the image you'll be able to tap on change background and you could change the background image you could also scroll down and from here you can remove the sample products that you have added by simply hovering over the section you could tap on manage products after selecting manage products from here you can see the sample products so you could simply tap right there tap on all products then from there you could tap there select all products then untick the cap after you have done that all you'll need to do now you could tap on more actions then from here we could tap on delete then select delete now that you have deleted all of the sample products if we were to close out of this and then refresh the page you'll realize that the sample products have now been removed and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching